If your satika gets worse during a core workout, it's because the exercises you are doing are either pushing on the nerve or pulling the nerve. And these are extremely common mistakes you might not even be aware you're making. My name is Dr. Grant Elliott, and in this video, number 157 of the Low Back Pain Podcast, I'm gonna teach you why certain exercises flare up your satika and three core exercises you should be doing instead. So first, you must understand why certain exercises flare up your satika. There are two main reasons why certain core exercises can flare up your leg or your glute or your back, wherever that pain primarily is. And the two main components are lumbar flexion and nerve tension. I'm going to give you examples of both so you can thoroughly understand. If your satika issue is being caused from a disc pushing on the nerve, any type of movement that increases the disc's pressure on that nerve will increase the nerve pain. In most discs, not all discs, but most discs find that lumbar flexion bending forward tends to increase pressure on the disc, which increases back or leg pain. We have studies that show being in a seated bent position puts more pressure on the disc than most other positions do. And what type of core exercises mimic sitting and bending forward? Things like sit-ups or crunches or bicycles, things that put the low back in a flexed position that might increase this type of pressure on the nerve. Now, the second component is nerve tension. Any movement that increases nerve tension is going to flare it up because nerves do not like being stretched when they feel sensitive. So what causes nerve tension? Increasing the length of the nerve increases nerve tension. So this will be any movement that fully extends the leg or raises the leg higher and higher. It looks just like a hamstring stretch if someone is going to hip flexion, they're raising the hip up and they're extending that leg like they're trying to stretch the hamstring or stretch the calf as much as possible, that is going to pull on the nerve, either in a sensitive place or pull the nerve across the disc, thus increasing pain. So if you're doing a core exercise that involves fully stretching the leg like that, this could be sit-ups, this could be leg raises, this could be flutter kicks, whatever, these might be flaring up the nerve due to increased nerve tension. So the three exercises I'm gonna give you now do not involve lumbar flexion, or nerve tension. That's why these are very safe for most individuals struggling with sciatica symptoms. And in our online low back program, we meet with about 150 people every week with sciatica issues. So we know exactly the types of things that you're dealing with. And these recommendations will most likely be very helpful. Hey, real quick, if you're watching this video and you're resonating with the things that I'm saying, and you're ready to be pain-free, just click the link below and you can schedule a call personally with my team so we can meet with you go over your current situation and figure out what you're missing and help you develop a game plan so that you can finally become pain-free. This is for serious people only, so click the link if you are ready to go. Back to the show. The first exercise is our kneeling Palov press. You want to anchor a band, get on your knees, walk away from the anchor to increase tension on that band, and of course, turn away from it, and slowly push the band out repetitively while resisting the rotational force. That band is going to want to rotate you and pull you back towards where you anchored it, but your goal is to resist it. Why? to strengthen our anti-rotation spine muscles. Many individuals with sensitive sciatica will normally find rotational exercises can be really uncomfortable. So Russian twists or maybe other rotational mobility exercises really aggravate things, rolling over in bed. So helping your lower back to strengthen and resisting rotation can be very helpful for these types of lower back issues. And this exercise increases the demand on our hips, on our stability, and keeps the low back in a neutral position. So it does not increase lumbar flexion or nerve tension. The second exercise is our bear position. On the ground, on all fours, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, you're going to hold the spine in a neutral position while bracing the core and raise the knees a couple inches off the ground. This looks easy at first, but is quite tough as we hold this for time. This does an excellent job at actually calming down the lower back, being very nerve friendly, and increasing the stability of our entire trunk, not only our core. As you get stronger with this exercise, you can seamlessly progress it by then raising raising one arm at a time, so holding the position with one arm or kicking one leg back at a time to add some additional difficulty. And the last exercise is the dead bug exercise. For this, we're gonna be on the floor, on our back, arms and legs in the air, push the lower back into the floor to neutralize the spine and increase core engagement while you slowly alternate lowering the opposite arm and opposite leg as you perform this. 
because you are on your back with your spine neutral, for most of you, this will be a comfortable position for your back or leg pain. Now, this is much tougher than it might initially look if you move through it slowly and you really concentrate on pushing that lower back into the floor as much as you can. I still do this exercise every single day before I work out, and I swear by this for multiple reasons, but I'm telling you, if you wanna get a good core workout, but you don't wanna flare up your leg, do this exercise. Now, before we finish this video, there's a very important concept that you need to understand from this. Yes, those three exercises are, are gonna be great, but you need to understand that although I am emphasizing that lumbar flexion and nerve tension might be the thing flaring up your back, I am not saying that these things are bad for you for life, not at all. In this moment, if you have a sensitive back, if you have a sensitive nerve, then yes, lumbar flexion and nerve tension might be aggravating your symptoms, and it might be wise to temporarily rarely avoid things that are continuing to pick the scab and re-aggravate it. And these exercises are, are much safer alternatives, but I am not saying you must avoid things that bend the lower back or extend the leg any longer than what your recovery takes. All of our clients in our online program were told, avoid this, avoid that for life and are afraid of doing things, but that's not true. When they're done working with us, they should be able to do lumbar flexion movements, all the sit-ups they want to, all the leg raises they want to, all the Russian twists they want to, and it should not aggravate them at all. And in fact, they should be strong in those motions and doing them with confidence, not fearing being fragile or flaring things up at any given moment. True recovery looks like a bulletproof spine that can withstand anything. And that is what we do with all of our clients who are struggling with sciatica issues, where the typical treatments are simply not working for them. The typical chiro down the street, the typical PT, these things usually are not working for most of our clients. And they're looking for an approach that is much more specialized targeted that yields results fast, but most importantly, removes all fear and allows them to do whatever they want to do for years to come because they learned how to fix it themselves. And that's exactly what we do. We teach you how to fix your sadica issues so that you can be in control. You don't have to rely on anybody else and you can live the life that you're after. So please take a stand for your health. Reach out for help. You don't have to live in pain. Do not choose to do so. Reach out for help. Let's change your life because you only have one of them and you do not deserve to live in life in pain. I look forward to meeting you soon. Once again, be sure to join my Facebook group, Rehab Fix Low Back Program, so you can get additional exclusive content and our free Sataka guide immediately upon joining. If you are watching this on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are listening on your favorite podcast platform, please leave a five-star rating and review so we can grow this podcast and help reach more individuals who deserve to get results, who feel like they're spinning their tires and getting frustrated in doing so. As always, move more, move in nature, move in the sun. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.